DJ ATV. APC committee screened 14 aspirants for Anambra state governorship pools. Plus, Governor Erofai sacked 99 political appointees as voters' registration to resume June 28, says INEC. Hey guys, good morning to you, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you, depending on the location you're watching us from. A very big welcome to you. This is DJ MTV Daily News Update, a WhatsApp channel where you get the best and the latest news all around the world. Let's get to the main news. The committee set up by the All Progressive Congress APC to screen the governorship aspirant for the Anambra State election has submitted its report. It submitted the report to the Ketika and Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee in Abuja. The committee shared by Ikeshi Eminike said it screened 14 aspirants for the governorship election. The aspirants include Andy Uba, Woka for Daniel, George Mogalu, Paul Oriajaka, Edoze Madu, Shidoze Wanko, and Maxwell Okoye. Others are Azuka Okosa, Owon Mokelu, Igwebike Aiju, Godwin Okonkwo, Bennett Etiagba, Geoff Oyejebu, and Onuko Obina. Submitting the report, Mr. M. Nike said that the committee carried out a thorough responsibility with the spirit of patriotism. A statement reads in part, We approached this work with a spirit of patriotism, transparency, and with an open heart in line with provision of Nigeria constitution and the party's guideline for nomination of candidates. Politics is a contest as long as they are qualified, let them go to the field, he said. Mr. John, the National Secretary of the Ketika and Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee of the party, received the report on behalf of its chairman, Governor Malamboni, at the party's National Secretariat in Abuja. He thanked the screening committee for serving the party, adding that the report would be sent to Mr. Boni immediately. By what you have done, you have removed the need for an appeal committee. We are indeed very grateful to the committee for serving the party in the screening, Mr. John stated. The All Progressive Congress primary election to elect the party's candidate for the Anambra state governorship election is scheduled to hold on June 26, while the governorship election will hold on November 6, 2021. Malam Nasri Erufai, the governor of Kaduna state, has sacked over 90 of his political appointees. Erufai stated that his administration will reduce the size of civil servants in the state but maintain that government appointees will go first. The Kaduna state government stated this at a media chat with journalists in Kaduna, explaining that the disengaged political appointees constitute 30% of political office holders. So far, 99 political appointees have lost their job, but we have not commenced right-sizing civil servants, Malam Erufai said. We want to be fair with regards to civil servants. We had earlier promised that before we reduce the size of the civil service, we will start with political appointees and we have done that. However, civil servants with a question mark on their data have been given a chance to clear the doubt before any action is taken on them, he clarified. Meanwhile, the Independent National Electoral Commission has declared its readiness to resume the nationwide continuous voters registration scheduled for June 28, 2021. This was made public on Thursday by the Independent National Electoral Commission Deputy uh, Director of Voters Education Division, Mrs. Mary Inkim, at a roadshow on the CVRO organized by the Commission in Abuja. According to Mary, the exercise would be taking place from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. from Monday to Friday, excluding the weekends. 
it will involve two stages. The first stage is the online pre-registration and then the second is a physical registration. So people can sit in the comfort of their homes and log in their details for the registration, then go further to any of our local government or state office to capture their biometrics and photographs or you appear physically at any designated registration center, she said. Mary Ikem also said that the Independent National Electoral Commission will come up with the guidelines for the collection of permanent voters card PVC. The members of the National Youth Service Corps NYSC and the Independent National Electoral Commission staff members from the Voters Education and Publicity Department were present at the roadshow. The roadshow was to create awareness and to mobilize eligible voters in Abuja for the resumption of the exercise. The exercise is also to let the FCT residents know that those who have been targeted in the exercise are those who have turned 18 and after the last registration exercise or those who are more than 18 but have never registered. Exercise is also for those who have issues with their accreditation during the past election, those who have issues with their permanent voter card PVC or their biometric details, Mary explained. So guys, this is where we draw the curtain for this edition of DJ MTV Daily News Update. But before we go, here is the headline. APC committee screened 14 aspirants for the Anambra State Governorship Election, plus Governor Erofai sacked 99 political appointee, plus INEC to resume voters registration on June 28. So guys, we'll add the story and the headlines. What do you think about the INEC voters registration which has gone online and also after your online registration you have to go to um, any of the local government for your physical capture, that's your biometrics, in order to take part in the 2023 election. INEC has also said that those affected or those that can register are those who just turned 18 or those who um, are 18 but they have problem with their biometrics and um, their PVC during the last election, they are free to register. So guys, what do you think about this INEC new um, plan to begin um, online registration of voters? What do you think? And also we saw Malan Erufai in Kaduna State who sacked about 99 uh, appointees of his government. What do you have to say about that? We've had a series of um, talk from Nigerians that um, Manon Erufai is an autocratic um, governor who does things at will. He has also promised that more civil servants are going to lose their job. And in preparation for the Anambra state governorship election, which is slated for November 6, 2021, the APC has released 14 aspirants to go to the field. The APC National Publicity um, Secretary has said that the party was patriotic in selecting these 14 candidates. He said those who are qualified should be allowed to go to the field to battle it hard. So therefore, we have 14 aspirants going to the primary to slug it hard in order for one person to emerge as the party's candidate for the 2021 Anambra State Governorship election. So guys, what are your thoughts? Drop your comments in the comment section below and please do not forget to like, share and comment on all our videos. Follow us on all our social media platforms on Facebook, on YouTube and on Instagram. Also, please, if you're new to this channel, do subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you can be the first to get notified each time we post a new video. And do check us out on our website www djmtv.news I am Victor Obruchi reporting for djmtv news yeah.